Today's weekly customs will be nothing but phenomenal, pun intended, because this figure is actually one that I had in my collection. I traded the original one away to Luigi Kid and Cloud Kid. I wanted it back for the AJ Styles figure collection, but they wouldn't give it back, and I wanted to make this figure, so that's what I did. And this was one of my favorite AJ attires before he joined WWE. And it's not really accurate because the boots aren't accurate, but it's better than but it's better than nothing. So this, if my camera would focus. The camera focused. Yeah, it's focused. So this is. My favorite AJ attire that he's ever wore. Again, the boots aren't accurate. But I tried to swap on the original boots and they just wouldn't fit. So, this is another AJ Styles. But this one is from Wrestle Kingdom 10 when he fought Shinsuke Nakamura for the IWGP Intercontinental Championship. Would have been nice if he would have won the title, but either way. He didn't win, I've seen multiple people make this, and I just absolutely love this AJ Styles. So, I put the vest on here, and since I always love doing the snap effect, I'll probably never stop doing that. The vest will come off right now. So the vest is now off, I use the Elite 51 vest. It works pretty good, plus that's the exact one that AJ wore that night. Position it right there. That was good. So, let's review, in my opinion, one of the greatest AJ Styles attires he's ever, ever worn. So, like I said, this is based off Wrestle Kingdom 10 when he fought Shinsuke Nakamura. And I don't really need to give a rundown. This thing's really loose. I probably gotta add um, one of these black things to there. If, if your torso is loose, you're probably gonna add one of these to the torso. I'll probably do that. So... The parts that I used are, I think, the Battle Pack AJ Styles head skin, the Elite 51, I think, torso? No, 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 it's Elite 56. So, the head scan's from the Battle Pack with Roman Reigns. The torso is, for, is the Elite 56. The arms are actually from uh, the Elite 51 AJ Styles. I had two of them. I gotta get another one. I gotta get two of them so I can make a... Uh, his uh, No Mercy attire. I know, I have too many AJs, I need help. But I don't have enough AJ. And I added this elbow pad. He didn't actually wear the P1 elbow pad. If you actually look it up, he never wore the P1 elbow pad at Wrestle Kingdom. And you got the belt detail going on there. This torso is really loose. Like, torso is a bit loose. You can see a little bit of cracking there, but... Okay, I'm like I'm not the best at cracking, so you got the belt going around. I, I did a really good job on this. Knee pads, kick pads. So the lower part is actually acetoned uh WrestleMania 33 Shawn Michaels. You can find that cheap on Amazon, it's like twelve bucks. I want to get another one so I can make another attire from AJ. I want to make the ne the network spotlight attire because I never got that in person, but whatever. And the boots are basic. They aren't accurate. I tried adding the Elite 56. They were, I think, too big, so I'm probably going to have to get a basic for that. Random knee pads. Decals. I had an extra set of this Bullet Club decal and an extra set of this P1 logo. He did actually wear these at the event. And it was kind of hard to print this off because I couldn't find it. I eventually found it and printed it off and it just looks so good. Like, look, look at the detail on this. So... I love this P1, or, sorry, not, nah, not P1, the Bullet Club logo. I absolutely love this Bullet Club logo. I love this P1 logo. This, in my mind, is the greatest AJ Styles attire he's ever worn. Not the greatest figure. It's one of my favorite figures that I've made. However, if you are to ask me what my favorite attire of AJ was, that's like asking me to pick my favorite child. I can't do it. Even, even though I'm 14 and don't have kids, whatever. So, that wraps up this edition of Weekly Customs. I thank you guys so much for wasking, wasking, watching. I'm, I'm sorry, I just woke up like an hour ago. So, 
I thank you guys for watching this video. Don't ask in the comments if 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 you want this figure. Do not ask if you want it in the comments. A clown kid. Uh, this is not up for trade. I will not trade this like I did the last one. So, again, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe. See you guys in the next video. See you in the next edition of Weekly Customs. Because this one, pun intended, was phenomenal.